Hi right guys, we're at Juice Plus headquarters in Hammersmith and behind me you'll see their very lovely office. In there they've got four towers which we look after for them and we're just today looking at the idea of really integrating those towers into their uh, juicing bar because they've got a barista that works for them. Very fortunate with that, they've got 400 employees here. And so let's see how we can then really, really find a deep symbiosis between what's growing on those towers and what their employees are enjoying on a daily basis. So in we go. Let's go and have a look at this. You can see this beautiful tower as you walk in. It's just, it was one of the first ones we put in and uh, done a really, really great job of growing out some lovely produce. You've got, I mean, looking straight ahead, we've got some amazing basil growing there. Big, big leaves from a Genovese basil plant. Coming down, we can see little heritage cherry tomatoes that have been going for quite some time. They're doing really, really well. As you can see constantly new ones coming about, which is really great and very little maintenance for any of the guys here to do uh, to keep those coming on. Let's go through to the main site where you can see Alex is currently doing some maintenance on the towers. Very little needed. It's just each tower needs about 10 minutes a week, checking the pH, just making sure it's all working fine, but generally they run themselves. On this tower, you can see some beautiful little flowers, these viola, that is a lime basil, which is absolutely delicious. And then we've got kale, this Russian kale works really well in juices, which then brings us around the corner to this one here, where we've got juices being made. So. TJ, who is the uh, barista here, is then producing at the moment daily some really, really lovely smoothies. Not just green, as you can see, there's some red and whatever. So this is their main juice bar. And these towers, an amazing backdrop, and really showcase what you can do in an office environment to really engage staff, add wellness to what you're doing. Yeah, they're brilliant. Right, so this is TJ, right? So TJ is the barista at Juice Plus. He does an amazing job. And we've just started integrating, putting in the greenery into the amazing smoothies that you're seeing us make. So TJ, what do you like about the system, man? Um, I just like that like it's open for everyone to use and it's good to incorporate just different types of vegetables into the smoothies compared to like getting it from like a super local supermarket you can actually see the whole cultivating process how it's grown from start to finish and then it really gets all the people who work here just interacting absolutely yeah 100 percent like it's it's here to stay i love it man <laughs> good man, man. It. that's really really great I'm, i i'm in a massive advocate of it and i mean looking at this now we've got Tuscan kale, which has gone into this uh, smoothie here. It, we've got some lime basil, which adds a really nice touch. What else do we reckon we could put in there, TJ? Is there anything on the top of your mind that you mm. could think of? I would say Good. definitely some kale, because compared to the store-bought kale, like I've tried some of the kale that have literally been grown here, and you can really taste the difference. Like It's full of life, vitality, and I think definitely with some spinach maybe, and then like even yeah, the yeah, cucumbers yeah. that you're growing as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 we can really do something with it. And yeah, 100%, awesome. yeah, I'm even thinking of putting some bananas in it as well. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's really good, man. Well, thank you for your more time, man, it's really good. We are on the start of our journey of putting this juicing bar in, but I'm feeling pretty optimistic that it's going to be a really great addition to the company. Okay, TJ, what have we got in this one here, buddy? Okay, so for this one, we actually have some cucumber. Yeah. Um, we have some kale as well. Yeah. Um, some pineapple. Some really? Wow. Yeah. Papaya as Very well. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then also we did it on the almond base milk. It's on almond yeah, milk. Yeah, okay, it's on cool. Almond base milk. We also added then a bit of chard in there just yeah. because I'm a massive fan of that. It's really high in antioxidants. Yeah. And uh, and then, do you know what gives it a lovely touch is that lime basil that we've got in the corner. That is just stunning. It's got yeah. a really, really tropical kind of taste yeah, to it. You can really see the vibrancy in the color of this movie. It's like, awesome, man. Yeah, it's Let's awesome. pour some out. I need some in my system. Ah, uh, no worries, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
might just chew that later on. Mm -hmm. Superb. <laughs> I just had lunch and I am starving looking at this. You can this. really it's smell amazing. the richness of you it. You really can smell yeah, that. Yeah, like... I think, do you know, I can smell that lime basil. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's poignant. Like, you can really see how all the different vegetables are literally complement each other. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the fruit as well. And I'm loving the fact that we've got... We've got quite a bit of kale growing on all four towers, just starting to ramp up production so we can really start using this every day. But anyway, there we go. Three absolutely delicious smoothies and we just need to find some people to now come and drink it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, TJ. No worries, mate. No worries. <laughs>